Welcome Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general live reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. This could resonate for you as a past, present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, you should check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Alright, ooh, okay. Aries, I feel like this is about a connection that's extremely strong. Like this could actually be like a past life soulmate, like maybe someone that your soul recognized from many previous lifetimes or even like a twin flame or something. There's like a very strong spiritual connection between you and this person and there's a lot of confusion about the other person's feelings and some type of like conflict or fear. So let's see, their thoughts, their feelings, intentions and actions. Their thoughts, their feelings. Ooh, goodness. Intentions, actions. Okay. Out of the deck is the Ten of Cups. Okay, so very strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I do have the King and Queen of Swords side by side here. Like the very strong spiritual connection between you and this person. Okay, before I go any further with the tarot, I'm going to stop to do messages from your person. I have this box here. These are over 600 handwritten messages that Spirit has um, passed to me to use for this deck. So, let us see what your person wants you to know. Okay. I keep hurting you. How can you still love me? I love listening to you talk about anything. I mean, this person loves listening to you talk. They love hearing your voice, just hearing you ramble on about things that you're passionate about. Drunk call. I have a lot going on right now. Reaching out to you through dreams. I wish I could go back in time and do things differently. I thought you'd be better off without me. I want to start a family with you. And long, slow kisses. Okay. So, yeah, a lot of passionate energy, a lot of really intense emotions between you and this person. They want to have a family with you. They want to have a life with you. At one point, they thought you'd be better off because, again, they said, I keep hurting you. How can you even still love me? I've put you through so much, you know. You deserve so much better. If I could go back in time, I would do things differently. This person and you are very spiritually connected. You may even have really significant dreams or this could be a telepathic connection. Like maybe you sense each and hear each other's thoughts. Their life is really complicated and they just want to hear your voice. So they may actually, for some of you, they may actually call you when they're drunk, when they're at their most vulnerable. Okay. So... I think for some of you, like I said, you see this as a past life soulmate, someone that you share a really deep and uh, intimate connection with. And for some of you, you do want to kind of reconcile and come back together with this person. Some of you have, maybe some of you already have children with them or you've thought about having a family with them. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This person's in love with you. My cup runneth over my heart cannot contain all that it feels for you. I've never felt this way about anyone before. Between you, there's a lot of confusion. This person, I feel like, has given you a lot of mixed signals. Because the chariot's all about movement and, like, being certain of something about success. But in this card, this depiction is very different because you see this woman who is on, you know, this, like, carriage with these horses. She's in the forest. It's night. The moon is out. There's all this fog and confusion. There's little birds, you know, around. I feel like there's a, um, danger, threat, confusion, doubt. And with the fog, you can't see where you're going. So it's like moving forward, even though you're not certain where it's headed. And so that's what I feel like. I feel like between you and this person, there's this desire to move forward, but neither of you currently know how. You don't see a clear path to each other. For some of you, there could be a distance here. Um, or a lot of things that kind of keep getting in the way, and this person giving a lot of mixed signals. The obstacle, though, with the Five of Wands can be like conflict. You know, someone wrestling their head, their heart. For some of you, I feel like this could be even a, be like a friendship that someone's afraid to risk. 
but also there can be fears about other people being negative about your connection. And no, before I get it in my comments, every single time I say this, someone's like, well, it doesn't matter, Mystic, about what their family thinks or blah, blah, blah. I'm not disagreeing. Listen, I'm not disagreeing. Do not shoot the messenger. I'm just here to pass along the messages. I'm with you on that. Like, that, none of that should matter. All that matters is the two people who are in the relationship together. And if they're happy, and if people cannot respect that, they don't deserve to be in your life. You know what I mean? Like, if they can't, if they genuinely love you, they should support you with what makes you happy. As long as it's healthy. It's none of their business. But there may be people who are talking, gossiping, maybe really jealous, trying to create issues around you and this person. Now, when this person thinks about you, we have the King of Swords here. So, and it's paired here with the Queen of Swords. So, first of all, this person recognized you as their, as their soulmate. Maybe even Twin Flames. Now, I don't know why I'm getting, like, this person may not know the difference. Like I'm saying, this person, they may not know what a kindred spirit is, or a soulmate, or a karmic, or past life, or twin flame, or fault. They may not know what all these things mean. But I think a lot of people kind of just default to, oh, there's something special here, so this must be one of my soulmates or something. But they feel that what matters is, even if they don't know the term for it, or what this exactly is, they feel like you belong together. That you're made for each other. That you know, you're supposed to be together. You're so similar in so many ways. So some of you, your lives may even mirror a lot. With the King of Swords, this person thinks about this connection. They try to think about it logically because there is like this overwhelming sense of like emotions and feelings. And I do feel like this person has given you a lot of mixed signals. And that's why I'm saying this person may not have told you the depths of how they feel. They may have a hard time being emotional. But for some of you, I can see the cup here. For some of you, I feel like this person may like be drinking or something. And they call and like an outpour of emotion comes from this person. Right, where they're, you know, really telling you how they feel about you when they're at their most vulnerable. And what they feel, they feel like you're also really guarded with your feelings, which is partly why they're protective of theirs. And again, I know I know some of you are gonna be like, Well, Mystic, they need to make the first move. I've tried to tell them how I feel, they know exactly how I feel. Again, I'm not disagreeing. But the same way that you might be afraid to tell them, listen, I've always been in love with you, I really wanna be with you and you're afraid that they may reject you or you might get hurt there, they're human also, and they may also have those exact same fears. And for some of them, again, I will never justify negative actions, behaviors, etc. but we do want to understand this person and their perspective because it's, it's the only way we can get clarity. You already know how you feel, right? For some of them, if maybe they grew up in an upbringing where their feelings were never important, where they were always, you know, felt like I have to internalize everything, my feelings don't matter, you know, I can't be vulnerable because I'll get made fun of or something. They may they may need even more reassurance than most people would when it comes to, even if you're saying I love you, they may be thinking to themselves, well, you're saying that, but how can you really mean that? You know what I mean? I feel like this person really overthinks emotions. And because you're guarded with your heart, guarded with your feelings, they are also nervous to reveal theirs. But that's why I'm saying there's something about like this vulnerability for this person or this opportunity where they feel more safer to to you know reach out to you. And for some, it looks like there could be some kind of like intimate dreams or emotional dreams between you and this person. Intentions, they may have to cut some things or people out of their life in order to pursue you, because the Five of Swords does talk about walking away. Action told Nine of Cups, this person is saying that they're so close to like completion. You and this person could have such a beautiful life together, but this person has to have the confidence to stand up for themselves and to reject people who have been very unfair and focused on themselves. I think that this person wants more with you, but they're going to like reveal these feelings at a time where they feel they can freely do so when they're not overthinking their feelings. How can you still love me? I thought you'd be better off without me. It's like this person doesn't see their worth or they've been conditioned to believe that their thoughts, their feelings, and things don't matter. Let's get some additional messages here. So this person's like trying to come towards you and open up to you. But like I said, it could be like a call or something. This little card tried to make its way into my little deck. Okay. Getting to know each other. And again, this card doesn't mean that you don't know each other. For some of you, it could mean that, you know, maybe you haven't talked in a while. Okay. Get, where you're getting to know each other again. Or it could mean you know each other, but 
you haven't really discussed your deepest, darkest desires, fantasies, dreams, hopes, fears, right? As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Opening up to each other, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring you together. And passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Somebody no longer holding themselves back. They want it all. They see the future with you. I think that you and this person are very spiritually connected. I think you both have like some, you know, difficult wounds from the past. But there's a lot of healing when you and this person come together. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.